I mean, 2116 is a core course for mechanical engineers. It's a material science and engineering. Uh, this course uh, we have uh, complemented the lectures uh, with a lab session as well, which is ME2117. Uh, in this course, uh, we give our students a very basic introduction what is material science, uh, types of materials, and how the different properties are affected by the structure of the materials. Uh, we give them some hands-on experience in terms of the, uh, the testing in the lab so that they will be able uh, to deal with the different materials in the, in the coming years. Uh, basically, we have uh, uh, divided this course uh, into three different sections, you can say. Uh, the first part of the course, first four chapters, uh, basically dealing with the, the structure of the materials. Uh, we we'll start with the introduction, we talk about the bondings. Uh, we uh, uh, guide our students how to uh, you know, describe the unit cell and the structures, types of the structures. And in the another chapter, chapter number 4, we discuss about the, the defects and how these defects affect the, the structure of the, the metals. And then the second portion of the course, we talk about the mechanical properties of the materials which are very important and which are required for many industrial applications. And that portion of the, uh, of the course is heavily complemented with the lab uh, uh, experiments. For example, we do the tensile test uh, where the ten mechanical properties and the tensile properties, strength, elastic modulus, yield strength, etc. are determined by the, by the students in the lab. We do the, the hardness test by different techniques like Brenner, Wicker, Rockwell hardness test. The students do the experiments by themselves and they measure these properties. We also do for uh, the flexure test. Uh, which is also for the mechanical properties, but not for ductile material, but for the uh, for the brittle materials. So the, this mechanical properties determination is one of the very important uh, part of our uh, our our course. And at the end, the last part of the course is that uh, we talk more about the uh, the steel and the, the the cast iron. We we teach our students the phase diagram, the interpretation uh, of the phases, and we talk with the heat treatment how the heat treatment can affect the. The, the, the different phases in the steel and when the, the phases are changed, when the phases are developed, how those phases can affect the, uh, the mechanical properties of the steel. And finally, at the end, we talk about the applications of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the steel and the iron for different industries, which is, um, we all know that iron and steel are very useful materials and used a lot in different industry applications. So this is a basic brief introduction of the course and uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy this introduction and we are looking forward to have our new students and to enjoy this course inshallah in next semester. So you all are welcome. We are waiting lines. Uh, you have I don't, I don't.